Good morning. Welcome to uh, Morning Prayer on this uh, Wednesday, the third week of uh, Easter. Uh, so glad you joined Tom and I for Morning Prayer here with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. So I have my tea and uh, hope you're ready and let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. Well, today's psalm is Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now proclaim his mercy endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. The Lord answered by setting me free. The Lord is at my side, where therefore I will not fear. Who, what can anyone do to me? The Lord is at my side to help me. I will triumph over those who hate me. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in flesh. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in rulers. All the ungodly encompass me. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They, they hem me in. They hem me in on every side. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They swarm about me like bees. They blaze like fire of thorns. In the night, in the name of the Lord, I will repel them. I was pressed so hard that I almost fell, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. There is a sound of exultation and victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die, but live. And declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you, for you answered me and have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day the Lord has acted and will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna. Lord, send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you for the house of the Lord. God is the Lord. He has, uh, he has shined upon us for the, uh, for the procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let us pray. Lord God, your son, rejected by the builders, has become the cornerstone of the church. Shed rays of your glory upon your church, that it may be seen in the gate of salvation, open to all nations. Let cries of joy and exaltation ring out from its courts to celebrate the wonder of Christ's resurrection, now and forever. Amen. Well, we're getting close to Exodus 20, so we have to see what the Israelites are up to now. We continue in 19, beginning with verse 16. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightnings and thick clouds upon the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast, so that all the people who were in the camp trembled. Then Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God, and they took their stand at the foot of the mountain. And Mount Sinai was wrapped in smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in the fire. 
and the smoke in it went up like the whole smoke of a kiln, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. And as the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spoke, and God answered him in thunder. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai and on the top of the mountain, and the Lord called Moses to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. And the Lord said to Moses, Go down and warn the people, lest they break through to the Lord to gaze, and many of them perish. And also let the priests who, can't, who come near to the Lord consecrate themselves, lest the Lord break out upon them. And Moses said to the Lord, The people cannot come up to Mount Sinai, for thou, thou thyself didst charge us, saying, Set bounds upon the mountain and consecrate it. And the Lord said to him, Go down and come up, bringing Aaron with you. But do not let the priests and the people break through to come up to the Lord, lest he break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and told them the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Our New Testament reading comes from Galatians, the first chapter, beginning with verse 15. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thorns or dominions or principalities or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of the cross. And you, who once were estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in the body of flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable before him, providing that you continue in the faith, stumble and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel which you heard, which has been preached to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, became a minister. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but But now now in these last days he has spoken to us by his his Son. This This is is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, hear the prayers of your people. May we, who have received your gift of faith, share forever in the new life of Christ. Grant us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to continue to be with all those uh, suffering from COVID-19 and to be with all those on the front line, our first responders, to protect them and, and from this virus. Lord, As we uh, now slowly, slowly, our country begins to reopen. Lord, be with all the people. Protect them. Give uh, give them a will to live in your ways. Lord, all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin 
nor be overcome in adversity. And all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Uh, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Uh, our Father, who Lord art in Lord heaven, Lord hallowed Lord be Lord thy Lord name. Lord thy kingdom Lord come. Lord thy Lord will be Lord done Lord on earth Lord as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Wednesday morning, the third week of, of Easter. And uh, remember that uh, Pastor Matthew and Morgan and probably Gracie will be uh, on this evening for evening prayers. And I hope you join them. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.